So this is the machine for FLA Vietnam. And now I'm going to show you how you can use the machine and how you can change the adapters to work with the carton bag. So first, now the CDs are inside. The input hubba for sleeves is a full. I put one of the discs here. I close this cover, I close the other one, and then I just need to get the ablator high. So I drive it up and it stops automatically. Okay, now I just need to start the machine, the start button, the red one, and before the flap folder. First, here, the bags they used many, many times. <coughs> this is the original bags from FLE, so we just use it for the test many, many times. That's why the sleeves they don't look good, and it's also not easy for the machine to work with it. Okay, because as you see, now I start the machine. As you see, the machine is working well. Now I will stop it. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how you can change for the carton bags. It is very, very easy. You just need to change this part, this adapter, and you have to adjust the uh, input hobo for the sleeves. Okay. And it is also easy. I just put two lines on the other side, but now we can see it uh, with the cam. And you just need to change from one position to the next one okay so i open this cover i get it empty then you need to have to change other side This is for the carton bag and the others are for the paper sleeves. They are looking like this. Then I have to go with the uh, input hub a little bit back, as I told you. And there is two lines here to find the right position. So I just need to lose it. And I go back. Now I pull the input hub with the uh, bags. And I need to adjust this obna as well. I just go with it a little bit back. 
like this it's just for test and then we will see if it's work well or we have to adjust it again okay so now we close the cover and we can just start to run again okay now in this case we don't need the flap holder okay so we can just change the output hopper from this position and we put it here so i will show you how you can do it also you just need to lose uh, one screw a little bit here or two and then we get this one out And we just need to start to push the start button. Okay, so now we see the machine stuck a little bit. Okay, so it was just the first one. I guess we have to go a little bit back uh, with the uh, input hobba, but it's in a way it's working also from the first testing. Or we can just make a little bit more air here on the side. So the machine work a little bit faster. So I just now it's nearly empty. I bought a new, a new sleeves inside. I start again and it works. Thank you.